Well, uh, in news, uh, just of course that we just went to, United States has of course uh, tested the latest cruise missile that has raised concerns in Russia, China and North Korea. And Russia and China have asked the United Nations uh, Security Council to meet over the threat to international peace and security. The two nations want to convene a 15-member council meeting after the U.S. announced plans to develop the medium-range missiles. And on Sunday, the United States tested a conventionally uh, configured cruise missile that hit its target after more than 500 kilometers of flight. This was its first such test since it pulled out of the intermediate range nuclear missile uh, nuclear forces treaty earlier this month. Had the treaty still been in place, the test would have been banned under it. Now, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has accused the U.S. of working on the missiles even before it pulled out of the treaty. Putin was speaking during his visit to Helsinki. All right, and joining us now for more on this is Ross Cullen from Moscow. And Ross, uh, well, strong reactions there coming in from Russia and China. I wanted to take this matter to the UNSC, the fact that uh, America has tested a cruise missile. Yes, that's right. This afternoon, uh, at Eastern Time, there's going to be a meeting for international threats to peace and security, as it's put in the United Nations Security Council, the issue raised by Russia and China. Coming after that test uh, of the, by the U.S. Navy t Tomahawk missile, a cruise missile that flew for 500 kilometers and then hit its target. And that range is very important because under the terms of the INF Treaty, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty uh, that expired on the 2nd of August, this kind of missile would have been outlawed. Um, it banned U.S. and Russia from using nuclear-capable short and medium range missiles from that have a range of between 500 and 5500 kilometers so that's what russia says look at this missile it flew in a range that would have been barred uh, under the terms of the treaty and despite the fact this treaty has now expired that was just 20 days ago and vladimir putin made the point in in talks he was in helsinki yesterday uh, with the finnish president he made the point that there's no way that this missile could have been conceived from scratch developed and tested within 20 days since the expiration of the treaty. It had to have been started before while the treaty was still in effect. And uh, he says that that shows that the US was willing to or had plans to undermine this treaty from the very start. It was looking for an excuse to get out of the treaty. It blamed Russia, said that Russia violated the terms of the treaty. Uh, and that's why the US is pulling out. The Kremlin said the, the reverse, that it, it was pulling out because the United States violated the treaty. So the, uh, the presidential spokesman here in Russia, Dmitry Peskov, and, and his, his boss, Vladimir Putin, both say the same thing, that the US was planning to undermine this for a long time uh, and just look for an excuse. And blaming Russia was his excuse to get out of the treaty, allowing it now to get back on with what Russia says it wants to do, which is to continue to develop cruise missiles of the kind that would have been prohibited under this previous treaty. Right, Ross Cullen, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the latest there. The latest flashpoint between the United States and Russia uh, is that, of course, cruise missile tests.